Hey guys, welcome back to another video. What we're going to be talking about today is freecodecamp.org. Now I've seen this trending a lot. I've seen this in different Facebook groups and this is kind of a free software online where you can go online and kind of learn how to code, learn different kind of topics, you know, front end data visualization, APIs, machine learning, and this is all free. From my first impressions, for something that is completely free, this looks unbelievable, right? There's looks like thousands of hours of content and genuinely uh, on any single topic that you can really cover, um, especially if you're just starting out and learning how to code or just trying to get that first job, this looks like right away a great, great resource, especially because it's free. If you like this content and want more, feel free to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. So let's look at some of these certifications you can get, right? So front end library certifications. In here, there's 300 hours, right, of content. So let's go to React and let's kind of go right here. So this is what I kind of love to see. And what you can tell is, you know, from the get go, it starts off super simple. This is for anyone, right? It tells you, it gives you an intro. It gives you some description of what, uh, what technology you're going to use. So this is super, super beginner friendly. And then there's kind of instructions for what you should, what you, what you should do. There's a place to put in your code and there's the test output here, which for when you run the tests and then you know, the output of your code. So you can see exactly what your code looks like. So the, my favorite part here probably is like these little tips. And then what you can do is get help and you get a hint. So this is where it, where this website really blows like others out of the water. So for every single question and every single topic. So, you know, I mentioned before that there was, you know, there's React, Redux, but not only that, there's machine learning. You can learn TensorFlow, stuff like that. But for every single question and, and all of these kind of different little topics, there's a forum post where, you know, you get hints and then you kind of get like a solution as well. So if you're really stuck, not only are the questions really good, but if you're really stuck, you know, there's, there's a lot of places with great content to help you out. So right here you can see, look, oh, there's a solution. You can copy it and go, go on to the next question. So, you know, let's go to, you know, React and Redux, right? So here you can see there's a basic component. And what I love is that you can you can see your output right away. So then, you know, this is really great. There's a review of some the key principles of React, what it is, what Redux is, and then it tells you what you're about to get yourself into. And then there's the instructions, right? So, like, I, I love this. You run your tests. Obviously, you know, my test didn't pass. But again, look, you get you get a hint. You go on here. It gives you some hints. There's some questions and then and then look down here, right? There's all these different other posts, which leads me to believe that the community here is really, really awesome. You know, and they're not just all empty. They're, they have views. It's not dead. So let's see. Let's get the solution, put it in, and then let's see what it gives us. So boom, run the tests. Look at this. And it's like very satisfying. It tells you, oh, you're 10% complete. You pass this and then you can just go on to the next question. I love to see this kind of stuff. So for me, the best way to learn is to, you know, what I would do is kind of go through some of these topics, you know, go through Bootstrap, jQuery. If you want to become a front-end developer, go through all this stuff. And then one of my favorite parts of this website is this. There's front-end libraries projects. So let's say you're trying to get a job and you don't have any side projects. You're just learning how to code and, you know, you've, you've kind of gained some knowledge, but you now you're trying to make that next step into maybe potentially interviewing for a position. What I would recommend, especially if you have no experience, is you go here and like, look, build a calculator. If you can go on, take what you've learned from the topics on this website and then kind of go through this, you know, let's, let's, let's go through this in detail, right? It tells you to build a code pen app and then it gives you a ton of user stories, which are kind of criteria that you have to fill. So when inputting numbers, calculator should not allow a number to begin with multiple zeros, right? It gives you a ton of criteria to make sure that the project, the project that you do is complete. And then once you're done, you kind of paste the link here and then you're good to go. So what I would recommend, literally what I would do if I was in university right now and I was trying to get an internship, for example, right? I would make this calculator, go through these lessons, make this calculator, put on my, put on my resume, uh, side projects, built a calculator using JavaScript and React, React, Redux, and like whatever, jQuery. Now that already, like just the fact that you built that could be the thing that gets you an interview, right? Especially if you have no experience. And then once you do get the interview, the fact, because you've already built this, you'll have some knowledge and you'll have some more experience to talk about. You know, you'll be like, oh my God, having my components refresh was really tough using Re React. I didn't know how to, you, how to combine React and Redux together. It was really difficult for me. And you'll kind of have experience to talk to and the people will get, 
will understand it. You know, you actually know what you're talking about. So this is kind of a great part of this website that they have projects for you that are kind of bigger than normal. They're not just like make a list or something like that. And I really think this makes a lot of it worth it. Another awesome thing that I've seen is this coding interview prep section. I've mentioned it before, the best way to prep for interviews, and don't take it from me, you guys have seen the videos before of me talking to a Facebook engineer and an Amazon engineer. They also say that the best way to prepare for interviews is to go on Lead Code and kind of grind 100, 200 questions. You spend a week or two just doing a ton of questions. You start off easy, you go on to medium, and then you end up in hard, you do a couple of hard questions. And then once you do that, you'll probably be able to nail any kind of interview question you get during you know your interview at Facebook or Amazon, whatever whatever job you're trying to get. It doesn't have to be one of those big ones. That's just like what's coming to my head right now. As an alternative to lead code, this could be a good one, right? Let's go to algorithms. So implement bubble sort. So here you kind of see a basic lead code style, you know, uh, UI where you have the question, you have instructions, write a function bubble sort that takes an array as input and returns an array of these integers from in sorted order from least to greatest. So you're kind of implementing bubble sort, right? This is awesome to practice. This is awesome. And what the, the best part is, you know, you can run the test, it'll all fail, blah, blah, blah. And then if you can't do it, you go, you get a hint or you ask for help. And if you can do all these questions, I really think that this is, look at this, you can create your own post. I really think that doing all these kind of questions is a great way to practice. The most important part is that things like leak code, you know, they start off free, but if you want like better questions, you have to pay for premium. And this can go from, I think it's like $30 a month or something. And this is all completely free. And from the looks of it, you know, there's, there's like 500 plus questions. So I definitely think this is very useful. And especially the fact that it's free really kind of makes this website even better than before. You can practice your question. You can practice your tech stack, right? You want to be a soft, you want to be a front end developer, boom, right here. You make a project, put it on your resume, and then you do these interview questions to prep for the interview and that's kind of the whole process and then you can really you really 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 increase your chances of getting a job so now the last thing i want to look at is the community of this uh, website right so i've heard that they have an awesome community and that really it's a great place to learn and from what i've seen already you know that i really believe that and looking at the, t the you know forum right here Look, there's 376 posts last week, 85 this week. And on really any topic you can look at, look, mobile web, mobile app development, backend help, front end help, let's go here. And then how to connect web page with Excel, right? Like there's a ton of questions and they're not dead. There's a ton of views, a ton of recent activity. And this is probably one of the best parts of this website, I would say, is that there's such a good community. Not only are you gonna be learning all this stuff, but you'll inevitably get stuck. And when you get stuck, there's gonna be a place where you can ask questions. And this is really cool, like 77 people online right now. This is really, really valuable. Not a lot of places are there where you can go on and kind of have a small community that will be there to help you, be there to answer your questions, even look career advice, you can do this. My first technical interview, like this is awesome. So I really, really would recommend this website, guys. This looks great, honestly. Look at all these problems. What am I seeing? How does this, how does this even appear? Don't know, but what the fuck? There's so many problems here. If you guys, if you, let me tell you, if you sit down for like a month and you do all these, you'll get, you'll get the job. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed. If you like this kind of content, feel free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if there's any other kind of services that you'd like me to review. I hope this review has been pretty good. I tried to make it pretty casual, but guys, from what it looks like, this is awesome. I'm going to put the link for this in the description below. And I'm also going to find the, I think there's a place where you can donate money. So I'll put that in the description below. I'll definitely be donating because this looks unbelievable. Oh, right here, make a tax deductible donation. So yeah, there you go. And yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Enjoy your coding. Thanks a lot.